welcome once again in hk tutorials today we will discuss next method of meshing previously we were discussing about sweep meshing now we will discuss about multi join meshing so let's start here in this go to component system and uh, drag and drop this mesh to this area and now write assign one name and import one geometry I already created one geometry using the other software so I just browse that geometry now double click on the mesh it takes some time to start Ensis meshing or mechanical module. This is the meshing. This is the geometry which we will perform meshing. Okay. Now, this is the details. These are the details of mesh. And to get that method, right click on the mesh and insert your method. So we have to first select the geometry on which we will apply the method so select whole body make sure that this body selection filter is selected and apply on that so this body is selected now here this method we have to select the method as multi joint okay now in this multi zone there are many options we will discuss one by one each in detail we first here the method is multi zone now mapped mesh type here three type of this options are available which indicate the which type of element will be formed inside your geometry means if x X is selected then the element will all all the element will be hex type and hex print will select it then the element will be hexa and thus on the surface wherever it will need it generate the uh, triangular type of element or prism and in the prism only as the name indicate there will be only prism type element okay. now we are here in here preferring only hexa type element and now this is option surface mesh method in this there are two options three options program control uniform or pave this uniform option as the name suggested this perform or this make the mass as highly uniform and in the pave method this is used for the massing of part which have high curvature faces okay. now here we are preferring as program control which is a combination of both okay. and these other are means source target selection here it automatic will select the source target and all the other options uh, we will cover in the local control settings and now generate this mass we okay. this is our mass but uh, the size of this mass element size is much bigger <laughs> than the expectation so we will refine this okay select the relevant 200 and then again generate mesh or you can select update mesh after doing that our mesh size is defined to some more extent but we want more so we will go to the sizing and here also we will do medium okay or we can select generate Okay. this is our geometry after considerable refining we get this type of element which are quite good looking 
and uh, one thing you have to notice that the, all the elements are of quadrilateral type means or we can say hexa type means element inside this geometry will be of hexa type uh, we can see this will change to triangular size in the prism matching uh, if we look at here if we change this from hexa to prism all the element will be change will change to that size prism size click on the game. okay look at here previously at hexa matching they all were quadrilateral now they are they are not triangle and also we can see this geometry region section plane look at our, our, our click on this by and you will do section of this mesh select on this section plane button and just drag the line and we can see that the element here are of prism type uh, we can the element via this these are the element look at here these are the prism size elements okay and uh, in the both hexa and prism or in program control it will give both the it is a combination of both the messages Okay, friends, thank you for watching.